it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and walkabout Wednesday in my late July garden. This will, I don't think this will be the last time we're in this garden because we're going to get all of the inside stuff moved to Vista first before we tackle the, the garden. So um, probably another one, maybe two more episodes uh, in the garden, but I wanted to start by, you know, taking a look. I'm starting to look a little more closely at my pots since those are obviously coming with us when we move. And my euphorbia, you know, this, this fantastic euphorbia, um, I was a little concerned about it because it had a really slow uh, comeback this winter. You know, all the leaves fell off in the winter and then you know, it was kind of slow leafing back out and it hasn't, you know, it's not nearly as prolific as it was last year. And it looks like I have dieback on two of these, these branches, although they're not squishy, so they're not rotted. And I was a little concerned about it, but then I noticed this new growth at the base. We've got like four places where we have brand new life springing forth. So I'm super encouraged. And I think that with a little bit of attention and TLC, I can get this guy to bounce right back to its original glory. Um, this mammalaria that my guy Miles gave me five, four years ago is throwing off lots of new little baby mammalarias in that Talavera pot. So that'll, I think I'm just going to let that pot ride. I may move, you know, these rocks. I had put these, this rubble in here to hold it steady because it was kind of flopsy mopsy and I didn't want to overhandle it and, ba and break it, but it's, it's definitely in there now. So I'm going to have, you know what, another silver lining of moving. I'm going to have so, oh, bless you, Greg. <laughs> I am going to have so much fun. Um, just really dialing in on my pots because I haven't in a really long time, if ever, you know, I don't know that I've ever had like a pot day. I haven't had a pot day, um, 420 notwithstanding. I haven't, haven't had a pot day where I just took the day and looked at each of them and re-top dressed or snipped or clipped or pruned or whatever. Um, kind of just work on them as I go. So, you know, this little, uh, mammalaria here also throwing off adorable new baby growth super cute this i know would probably be a lot better off in a shallower pot i just put it there because it's what i had um, available so that's another thing you know when we get settled and i'm and i'm really focusing in on our pot day um maybe this guy will find a home in something more shallowly appropriate uh this Milii with my, you know, the mermaid tail milii has just done so well. I, I, I feel like it's too big for this pot now. And I don't know, you know, what we're going to find when we go to move. If it's rooted through the drainage hole. Um, hate to mess with it because it is so stinking happy. But I really feel like it probably would be happier. Ultimately, possibly in a larger pot. Um, my beautiful, beautiful gutters. There's nowhere for me to hang these at the new place. Um, but Greg, because he is so benevolent and kind, has said that he will build me a structure so that I can take my gutters, which I almost cried because I love my gutters. So, you know, so happy that I will be able to take them. Um, do you want me to go and you follow me? Okay. Uh, yeah, and our... Mangave that I treated with the systemic, the fusarium wilt that you all suggested that it might have that soil borne um, fungus or spider mites. You know, I wasn't sure what which, but I gave it a drench, what, a couple weeks ago and just stuck it over here. I haven't watered it. I haven't done anything. I just put it in clean soil to see what would happen. And it's amazing, isn't it? It's still pouting. I really don't think it looks better or worse. 
it's just the same. So I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to keep um, keep caring for it. May, may try giving it a little water. See what happens. Um, this Dickia, I'm over it in this white pot. It has decomposed. The soil level is like down to here. And I'm going to take that out. Uh, that will be one for pot day where I get it, you know, do my best to get it all cleaned up and either reset or I might break it apart if I can't get at all this dead stuff. We'll see how it goes. And my Pilosoceris azurus is Pilosocerising and it's head off. What a happy plant. It has been so happy to be in this spot and I should sure hope we can get it transported without breaking it. Yeah, gosh, I will cry if this cracks and breaks. But if it does, it does. What are you going to do? Oh, Lord have mercy. Would you look at that? Oh, I believe it was Ralph Waldo Emerson that said, Earth laughs in flowers. And I kid you not, look at that. This is the Rebudia um, Heliosa, and it threw off one flower a few weeks ago, and I was so stoked, and look at this now. See, guys, this is one of the things that I love so much about cactus. I haven't done anything. I haven't watered it. I haven't even really looked at it, and look at that. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? And I was kind of being a little bit whiny about my Pacopodium gayi, and, you know, it doesn't make sense to try to move that. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I have another one, and I'll show it to you. You will remember it. Same with the Aluaudia procera. I've got a little Aluaudia here, and I have another Aluaudia procera in um, another um, pot. So I'm good on Aluaudias. The... Bougainvillea pot, ugh, I, at the new house, the kitchen window looks out on this really, really, really ugly hedge. It gives me hives. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to see, first of all, I'm going to trim that hedge down a bit so that it'll be easier for me to maintain. And it's going to look kind of gross probably for a while um, after I, after I trim it down. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the guys move this bougainvillea pot around back and I'm going to stage it so that this pretty plant is what I see when I look out that window. And that will make me very happy. So again, smoke and mirrors. You will notice that my furniture here under the pergola is gone. Uh, we have been moving some um, of the furniture out. We haven't done anything with the plants yet. Um, also, I showed this on the community page when we were, we were getting packed. I found this picture that my mother-in-law took of the garden before it was the garden. And some of you said, well, can you take an after picture in the same, you know, in the same perspective? So even better, I'm going to have Greg just back up and you can see what we did. Um, you all didn't realize that this wall behind me is the neighbor's garage. So that was immediately a really big challenge in that I couldn't put anything on the wall. I couldn't attach anything to the wall. So this pergola was perfect and my potting bench so i was able to put some softness up there without actually attaching anything to the wall itself and i got you know i got this so always a solution and you know what it's like i tell my kids all the time if there's confusion don't act if you're unsure about a decision if you're unsure about something just sit with it for a while that uncertainty means you're not ready to pull the trigger on a decision. So have some faith and patience and wait for clarity. Okay. Follow me for, uh, for more tips, right? So the gay AI will probably stay um, here. Also, this, um, this beautiful agave sun glow. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room at the new house, and I think 
this plant might just take up the entire backyard. So we'll see. I um, also want to think about plants that will be okay for weeks or months on end with no TLC or care because I don't know how long it's going to take for this house to sell. Uh, so I want to make sure that I take with me the plants that are particularly sensitive and might not you know, make it if they're not tended over a period of weeks or months. Um, some of you asked me if I was going to take a cutting of my Brugmansia and the answer is absolutely not. I have always had a love-hate relationship with this plant and I'm so happy. I have two citrus trees that flank the backyard at the new property and where one of them doesn't give off the best tasting fruit, it's a beautiful tree and I'm excited to get in there and lace it and just enjoy the blossoms and the canopy and the, and the structure and the look of the trees. So I'm good. I don't, I don't need that. Thank you. Um, also, I have mentioned to you guys from time to time how over on the other side of the prison wall, and if you go to the community page, if you want to see what's on the other side of the prison wall, I have posted a picture recently of that um, hot mess. But I keep, one thing that I always did was I would put my hedge clippers on top of the prison wall, and then I would walk around the back, and I would keep the pepper and the cottonwood trimmed down. Um, it's a lot of work. I mean, they literally are weeds, but I haven't done that since we found out we were moving and look at how they're already starting to peek their heads back up over, uh, over the wall. And you can see in the photo here, that cottonwood tree right here was the bane of my existence. It made such a mess in the garden all the time. And one day, I was minding my own business inside and I heard rustling out here and a chainsaw and a guy cut down the tree and I swear it was one of the happiest days of my life. I mean, I must have just like manifested that or something because I didn't ask, it just happened. But lo and behold, suckers, where there was one tree, now there's 30 and the suckers keep coming up and I just, like I said, kept, you know, hacking them back. Um, Got the Adirondack furniture over to the new house. Uh, it's amazing how much bigger this yard feels without the furniture in it. I was so surprised. Um, you know, I've got pots, 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 pots. I'll be taking my tox topsy-turvy with me. Uh, the Stephanotis, you know, I'm, I'm, you guys tell me. Some of you ask if I was taking a cutting of that. I have never tried to root a, st goodness, bless you, Greg. I've never tried to root a Stephanotis from a cutting. Do I just stick it in water and wait for it to root? How does that work? Because I would like to uh, take a piece of that to start on the back fence line if it can be done. So let me know if you've had an experience with that. And you can see that my pride and joy, my agave, um, Ver uh, attenuata variegata is unfurling and uncurling a brand new leaf. And I, I don't care if it takes all day. We are going to excavate this plant ever so carefully because she is a stunner and she is absolutely coming with mama. The blue glow will not come with me. Uh, the kids with their basketball, you know, over the, over the fence busted some of the back leaves and it's not that great. It can stay, but I will be taking my fountain, which Greg says I will have to deconstruct which is fine, you know, it's, it needs it. And this Sedum morganianum is really the only plant that I'm concerned about. So I will, you know, I'll extricate that very carefully, maybe put it in a box to move it. Uh, Cause you know how you look at these little um, beads and they just fall off. But the rest of the stuff in here is really, really tough and I won't have any problem at all um, pulling that out and then resetting it when we get, when we get settled. Uh, I will miss, my um, Eden Climbing Roses very, very much. I have loved them, but uh, clearly they are, they are staying. And the lemon tree. Look at guys, you haven't seen the lemon tree in a while. Look at how big our lemons are. There's over 80 on the tree. And I have some blossoming. Ooh, I've got one that's starting to turn yellow over there. I've got some new leaf growth. And I really think that the old lemon is on the road to a full recovery. So thank you all so much. Again, this was recommended to me 
Espoma Citritone. Um, and I, I, this is what I've been using on this lemon tree along with some Epsom salts. And that is what has brought this tree around back to health. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Robin, for suggesting the citrus, citrus tone. And for those of you that suggested the Epsom salts. All right, I'm gonna be leaving my raised bed here. And um, I obviously going to be taking my Crested Aeonium Sunburst and my Variegated Aloe. I'll probably, you know, I love Agavoides too. So yeah, I'll, I'll take everything out of here uh, and, and haul it along with me. Um, my my Echeveria Imbricata, this, <laughs> this is supposed to be a hen and chick and the Imbricatas are really hard to come by in San Diego right now. I just don't see them anywhere. If you're local and you have a source for Imbricata, let me know. I'm not seeing them at Waterwise. I'm not seeing them at Oasis. Uh, but, you know, who knows? But it's not pupping, guys. It's just fine. Um, but it's just sitting here doing nothing. So it will be coming with me. And I think it's probably going to be time. I'm not going to do it in the summer, but maybe in the fall to behead it and hope that I get some pups below, um, below my cut. See if I can get that thing going. And this mangave... Uh, in the pot, you know, this is what they're supposed to look like. This is also a kaleidoscope uh, that isn't throwing off the color that the other one is because, well, obviously it's not dying. But look, it's starting to give me some babies. I've got a baby there and I got a baby over on the other side. Um, but, you know, this kind of gives you a sense of what this plant is supposed to look like. Um, and then there's that strappy mess over on the other side that we're trying to rehabilitate. Uh, my totem cactus, one of you asked me, you know, how big is that? Well, it's this big. It's like two and a half feet tall. Um, here's my, you know, here's my hand. So it's a giant, giant, beautiful thing. And this Susan Ock rope pot is so delicate. So I will be ex um, extricating this totem cactus out of the pot and moving them separately when I go. I'm not going to move it planted. And I'm definitely taking my uh, perii with me. This is a spectacular specimen that is completely perfect. Um, what is this, guys? It's not Titanota, is it? This, this agave was given to me by Carmen at Oasis as a tiny little creature years ago to put in my garden, which I did, and now I don't remember um, what it is. Uh, it is starting to get its legs, but I don't know if this is one of the ones that gets giant or if this one stays smaller, so maybe you can help me out with an ID on that. And this blue glow would be the one to take to Vista. You know, it's perfect and much smaller than the one over by the fountain. And here is the pack of podium that we rescued from our Bonita client who didn't want it and said it was dead. And I'm like, no, it's not. But she insisted it was, um, clearly isn't. Look at that. This is a foster plant that we just popped in here about a month ago and it's already starting to throw off new growth on top. So I will take this one with me and you know, then I'll have my pack of podium at the new house. So I'm gonna feel really good about that. Obviously, you know, again, the potted plants will be coming with. So. Uh, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. We have, we're doing an amazing job. Yesterday we went over to the new house with a bunch of crap. So that's why I'm sorry there was no video. By the time we got home back to Chula Vista from Vista, it was pretty late. We're also having to keep the house clean and the dog uh, contained when there are showings at this property. So it gets a little, it can get a little nutty. So I appreciate your patience. And if I don't have a new video out, just watch an old one. <laughs> There's like 900 of them to choose from um, and know that uh, everything is fine um, and we'll probably catch you the next day. So at any rate, this has been Walkabout Wednesday. Thank you so much for subscribing, for sharing the videos with your friends, for all of your lovely comments and support. 
uh, through this, you know, difficult and challenging time of moving this 14-year-old garden to a new home. Uh, this has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with Walkabout Wednesday and your succulent tip of the day. Bye, guys.